Hey guys, welcome back to Curtis LSA YouTube channel and for those that are new here, my name is Matt. In front of you here is my 2014 HSV VF GTS. I've had a few guys on the Instagram page and also the Facebook page message me on how they would go about getting over 700 horsepower on their VF GTS and LSA engine. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I've done to get over 700 horsepower on my LSA. So here's the most recent dyno video of 700 horsepower on my VF GTS. Okay, first up would be the exhaust system on it. It's got a full three inch system, ceramic coated, made by Hurricane with two inch headers. Uh, ceramic coating your exhaust is better than say, for instance, full stainless steel, especially for a boosted engine uh, because ceramic coated is better for heat, right? Stainless steel might sound a little bit better in my opinion and I've had stainless steel exhaust on my previous Commodores, um, but for a boosted engine, full ceramic coating is uh, much better in my opinion, better for heat, especially under the bonnet. So the next part of the upgrade would be the uh, bottom pulley. I've got a 30% overdrive balancer down there, as you can see in the video. Um, she's quite large. I've still got the stock top pulley, which will most likely be changed in the near future. But that's your 30% overdrive balancer down there. Next up would be the uh, 12 litre reservoir that sits under this, this compartment here. So what that 12 litre reservoir does, it allows more coolant to run through the full system, um, preventing it boiling. With the stock limit of coolant um, going through the system, it takes less time to run through the full system, it doesn't allow the coolant to cool down, um, and obviously you need more um, cooler temperatures for more horsepower. So next would be the uh, Harrop AirPod here as well quite easy to install these are I've done it myself I haven't actually done a video of it um, because I did that before um, I started the YouTube channel um, but they are very easy to install so it's actually also got the LSA uh, lid spacer as well now it doesn't have the blower spacer or the thermal blanket as yet that'll be going in the next upgrades um, but what the LSA lid spacer does it actually lifts the cover of the blower up a little bit more to allow more airflow into the rear cylinders now next would be the uh, fuel injectors now they're a custom injector done by my tuner and last but certainly not least is obviously the cam now it's a custom grind from my tuner uh, what would an LS be without a cam, eh? Every LS that's out on the streets and out on the roads must be cammed in my opinion. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned, it's a custom grind from my tuner. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to sell their product here, but I'll put the link in the description below on what it actually is. So there we have it guys, uh, that was a video on how you get over 700 rear wheel horsepower on your VF GTS or LSA. There's multiple ways you can do this and in the video that you've just seen, this is the way I've got over 700 rear wheel horsepower on my 2014 HSV VF GTS. If you'd like your HSV or Commodore variant to appear on Curtis LSA YouTube channel, uh, whether it be for a review, a cruise or how-tos on your Commodore, 
um, please make sure you get in contact with me in the uh, contact details below. That's via my Instagram page, Facebook page, or email address. And if you're new here, as always, please subscribe to the channel and please give the uh, video a like, guys. It does help the channel out a lot. And thanks for tuning in to Curtis LSA YouTube channel.